Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Asia, if you're new here, welcome. If not, we should pop in. Um, so today I am going to be trying out Rare Beauty, which is Selena Gomez's uh, new beauty line. And I don't know, it's got a lot of girls talking. And you know, Selena has a lot of stands. So I feel like just off of that, it's going to be talked about. But, um, you know, within the beauty community, it's kind of like, what? Because, I don't know, she's not really known for her makeup looks. So it's kind of like seeing like a quick little, you know, cash grab. But, um, I mean, I don't know. The line looks cute. Um, people are comparing it to Fenty Beauty. Um, I could see that, but, um, I could see it, yeah. But, uh, I just want to give it a try and see if it's actually any good because, you know, some celebrities come out with things and it's not really what we expect. You know, like Fenty, um, that was highly anticipated. And I feel like, um, with celebrities behind things like this it could either flop or you know it can be a fancy beauty and change the industry completely so um yeah so my foundation i got the shade uh 360w um hopefully it matches we're gonna pray that it matches um i got a mini of the primer just because when i swatched it it kind of gave like a silvery tinge and i I like golden so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this primer just because it's kind of silvery but um we're gonna try it this is what it looks like I don't know, can you see yeah so um I'm just gonna put it on my face it's like an illuminating primer and I'm all for the glow so her line is pretty much like your skin but better and I'm into that so that's another reason why I decided to purchase it because I I mean I like full coverage but you know most days I like natural just like you know my skin but better so I don't know if you guys can tell it, it's definitely illuminating, but I do see like a silvery kind of sheen added to my face. I didn't pick up her sponge because it was too big for one. And for two, the holes in it were kind of big and I felt like it would give me texture like when I was blending it out. So I just passed on the sponge. And yeah, a lot of people were saying that, you know, this is just like this industry is basically celebrities see that um, people are making money from it so they just want to kind of like come join for that but I mean honestly that's like all brands <laughs> I feel like they feel like if they can make like an income or like a great I'm just I don't use products like this so I don't really know how to apply this or how much to apply but anyways, um, yeah, it's a business, so of course she's in it for, you know, some coin, but, you know, it's kind of like the, like, the early 2000s when every celebrity kind of had, like, a fragrance. Like, everybody just jumped in the fragrance train, or, like, you know, um, having a, um, this kind of orange... We're just going to keep going. Or like how um, every celebrity kind of was like into fashion, I guess. Like coming out with their own little brand and stuff. Even though they all flopped pretty much. But I just feel like when something is popular, celebrities are going to gravitate towards it. Just because they know they can make like a, a residual income. They know that they can, you know, just profit off of what people are into and I feel like right now the beauty community has really I don't know made a name for itself like 
I feel like the beauty community is very popular. Like it's very popular to have like a brand or to be, you know, partnering with the brand, having your own um, collection within a brand. And honestly, it's just an easy way to make money, I feel like. So I think people are kind of upset because they don't feel like it's really authentic to Selena Gomez. But I mean, we don't know her personally. She could love makeup and it's just not aligned with her, you know, outward brand to us. So, I mean, if it's good, it's good. I just feel like if celebrities are going to, you know, jump on the bandwagon, then their stuff should be like of quality because that's what's really going to, you know, make your brand last and really that's how you're going to see the income because if it's trash yeah like you might get like the first wave but like nobody's going to keep buying it if it's like whack so i feel like as long as there was some thought put into it it wasn't rushed and it's of quality then i mean who cares honestly it's makeup everybody is entitled to it i guess like it's not like a gatekeeper of who and who can wear who can come out with their own brand and who can't um this is definitely skin like uh i feel like this color is just a little too orange for me but that's okay I'll just uh, return it and find another color if I like the way that it wears. But so far, I don't really have any complaints. I can definitely still see um, some imperfections, but that's expected because this is like a light to medium coverage foundation. And yeah, I don't mind it. I think it's really nice actually yeah this she's cute she's cute okay this is kind of like an interesting shape i don't know if you can see i don't know how to describe it but it's interesting <laughs> i'm intrigued so this is a like brightening kind of concealer so i'm just gonna put a little bit and see if this color is okay for me it's supposed to look like you know natural like my skin but better and yeah oh I like this this concealer is cute okay do you feel like it brightened me up a little so I'm trying to keep my makeup really light, a light beat because I just feel like it's in tone with the collection or I keep saying collection but it's like a line, it's the whole line. So um, I want to keep in tone with that so I don't want to do too much because this is supposed to be like no makeup makeup kind of deal. Okay, so I just did a little bit of powder. I used the hourglass because I want it to be really light and keep in tone of the natural skin-like situation we got going on. And I did put on a little bit of bronzer just to kind of add some type of dimension to my face. And now I'm going to go in with her eyeliner. So the eyeliner is on it's not the best not gonna lie this is very liquidy and you really need to commit to every line you make because as soon as it touches it black color is coming okay okay so i just did um some mascara really lightly and threw on the lip gloss just because you know trying to keep it cute trying to keep it cash It doesn't smell, it kind of smells like cleaning stuff. I don't know. 
I don't know, but yeah. Um, it was a very fine mist. Um, it's quite refreshing, I guess. Um, but yeah, that smell is, I don't know, weird. So, all in all, I'd say if you're full coverage, full beats, everyday glam, this stuff is probably not for you. Um, but the eyeliner, probably, because it's really black and... I don't know it was easy to use you just have to be cautious because if you're gonna use it you need to mean it <laughs> but um yeah I feel like if you're needing makeup for like an everyday look something super easy not too much thought behind it then I would recommend you go check it out and see if you like it like um yeah it definitely does look like my skin a little wonder but um it looks like my skin and like I said you can definitely see some stuff peeking through which I don't mind because I like it to look natural and um yeah I think overall this is good um I have oily skin this foundation was kind of oily when I was like wiping it on my face um so we'll see how that wears but um yeah she does have a lot of shades and different undertones so i'm pretty sure she has like almost 40 different colors so i'm pretty sure you can find your shade um the concealer i really like the concealer i feel like it was like a nice subtle kind of concealer all of this stuff is subtle but like you know you know um the primer was definitely illuminating I don't like silvery sheens so I don't know how often I'm gonna use the primer just because I feel like I have other primers that give that illuminating factor without the silver tint so I don't really know if that's worth buying if you don't care for the tint you know and the spray was pretty refreshing. It does have like a little bit of a weird smell to it. Like not a bad weird, but like a familiar weird. Like I can't really put my finger on it. But um, yeah, overall I would say if this is your kind of vibe, check it out. If not, skip it entirely because I mean, I don't know. It's not groundbreaking, but it also isn't bad, so. But anyways, that wraps up this video. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. Also, let me know if you like this setup. It's different, it's new. So let me know if the lighting is okay, or if I should fix it, or if you guys like being at this angle or this close, I don't know. I'm just trying some new things out. So just give me your feedback down below in the comments. Really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later.